All right, let's go to Lee Richardson now because I jumped the gun earlier. Licensed professional counselor, founder of the Brain Performance Center. Lee, how you doing today? Doing well, thanks. How about you? I'm good. So stores can use music to influence what we buy. Are you kidding me? Not at all. I mean, stop and think about it. We know music influences our life. I'm the first one, man. I get to the gym and I hear that fast-paced rhythm, and I think, "Ooh, I gotta get my workout going." <laughs> yeah, I, and I'm the opposite. I listen to country music and I want to booze. So I guess it serves <laughs> the same go. purpose. But but how does it get you to buy stuff? How do stores use it in order to get you to spend? Well, listening to music has a, a real effect on your brain. And, and when the brain hears something that it likes, it starts releasing or experiencing something it likes. It starts releasing dopamine. That's a neurotransmitter. And that's a really feel-good neurotransmitter. And when we feel good, we certainly are more indulgent and we certainly are, are more comfortable buying. Okay. So does it make you spend more? Same, same well, amount? Less? I mean, what kind of effect does it have on spending? Well, it's interesting. You know, music definitely impacts your spending. I looked at a study that they did in a university cafeteria. One day they played classical music. One day they played pop music. One day they played eleva elevator music. Well, obviously, we know what the students like the best. They like the pop music. Right. But when they played the classical music, they spent about 20% more. No kidding. Lee, have you ever been to Vegas? I, I have, but I'm not. A, I need to take that out there with me, don't I? <laughs> well, the reason I'm asking you is because I've been to Vegas one time for a bachelor party, and I'm not going to go into that. But I remember, and I can't remember which one it was. I walked into a casino, and they actually have the sky is like painted on the ceiling, and it rains in there like a misty, a little bit of a rain, and it forces you into their shops to see stuff to buy. So, you know, kind of along the same lines of what we're talking about, stores can get very creative in order to induce you to open up that checkbook. Absolutely. They recognize, you know, the brain only gets information two ways. You see it or you hear mm -hmm. it. And they're going to use both of those as ways to attract you. Lee, I always enjoy talking to you. Thanks so much, okay? Thanks for having me. All right, Lee Richardson, licensed professional counselor, founder of the Brain Performance Center.